And good morning, everybody. Good morning. Shall we get stone to the bone? Yes. I love that intro. I really do. Right, Scully? I love that intro. Good morning, Scully. Good morning, Mr. Pierce. Good morning, Troy. (laughs) Good morning, Scully, Troy, Mr. Pierce. You did a good job on that, Troy. You did a really good job on that. And I got one too many tabs open. There we go. Let's get some metal going. Yes. Okay, this metal song is starting out really slow. Yeah. There oh, go. there you go. I'm like, metal what? <laughs> slow start and then boom. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Love that. Cheers. Plants thrown out, buds everywhere. I've been trying to full stress training as best as I can do. Right. <laughs> I've been spreading her out, then branches. Mm-hmm. I'm also a good thing. Good. I figure if I can do it, anybody can do it. Yep. Yep. directly too much into my ears yeah it's kind of weird that the sound is not the same level that you have it set you yeah. have to yeah it's <laughs> stupid. i gave up trying to have it coming out of my computer speakers and trying to judge the sound so i pump everything straight into my ears yeah, me too. That way I get a better choice, a better idea of how loud things are. Yes. I hope you're doing good, Scully. Hope the weather's getting warm for you. Warm, warming up down there for you.
care plants are just absolutely exploding into growth. I'm hoping mm -hmm. that means that they're all downwards. But... I'm hoping at some point I can move some of that cocoa and I'll see a orange top sitting there. That'd be so cool. Right? That would be cool. That would tell me I'm doing the right things. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Same with potatoes. When I actually pull out, uh, pull out the stuff out of that bag, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. What we're probably going to do is open it right up into a bin. Like pull the whole thing out right into a bin and then slowly pick it apart. Mm hmm. What y'all mm. going on out there? Damn hey, cheers, bro. Damn bro. Cheers. 30, 30, 30, 30. Cheers, Juba. Cheers, Juba. Juba. Hey, no problem, Gambro. <coughs> hey, Mr. Fucker. And just for the people that missed it, I'm gonna hit the intro again. For all the people that missed it, here's one of the intros. God, I love that. Right. Troy made that for me yesterday. I love weed live. Yep. I love that intro. I like getting stoned to the bone. Yeah. And I do shit my way. Because <laughs> I can't do it other people's ways. I'm blind. Right? <coughs> Cheers, 840. Cheers, 840. Good morning. Okay, let's do that. Yes, I hope that gets stuck in everybody's head. Every weekday hey. morning. Right mm. here. Stone to the bone. Stone to the bone. I guess I could take people in for a live view instead of that little half view of the tent. Ah, okay. I haven't heard anything from Gord. I was going to reach out to him on uh, with an email, but I wasn't sure if I should or not because I didn't want to disturb him. Right. It's one of my friggin' major fault, uh, faults. I don't like disturbing people, so I don't tend to message people and shit. Right. I'm hoping Gord is doing okay. Friggin'. 
it, it scares me when I know somebody gets like some type of infection after having surgery. Yeah, it's dangerous. There we go. Right now, up to full screen. Oh, well, there's my Cindy. Citrus mm -hmm. pie. For For an auto flower, she's fucking huge. There are my carrots. Potato, potatoes down at the back. Yeah. The cannabis. It's definitely, definitely doing good. Even though I heard it, it's still friggin' going great. Yeah, good that's morning. a model flower. Morning, Troy. Morning, Troy. Oh, that is an auto flower. Taking up almost the whole damn tent. You doing Troy? I'm bored. Bored. <laughs> bored. As fuck. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I've only been here for fucking forty five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Do, you did night. everything yesterday. Yeah. Well I've been doing everything over the last two weeks, like fucking shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the hell's going on, so it is what it is. You're getting paid to sit there on your ass half the time, so I guess. <laughs> yeah, I told Bagel, I said, if they're not going to communicate with me sh about shit, I'm just going to sit here and collect the paycheck then, I guess. Yeah. I, I hate doing that, but it is what it is. I've been trying. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for all you know, they could be freaking working on it on their end, freaking going, fuck, god damn it. Why won't anybody fucking take this goddamn thing up to them? Oh, fuck anyway. Who knows? Yeah, it could be anything. It really could. I'm just really confused. Morning, Mr. Yep. Bucker. Scully. Jim. A40. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh. Is that coming in? Nope. Okay. I cleaned out my Puffco last night. Got it all nice and fucking clean, clean. Sparkly clean. Super clean. Holy inside God. and out. Yeah, inside and out. It's wow. easy as fuck to clean, dude. Oh, they make it so easy to clean. You literally take this rubber part off of this, unscrew it, mm -hmm. drop in your ISO, let it sit there for a couple hours, take it out, let it dry for a couple hours, and then you're good. This, you just put ISO in there, shake it up. I did it. job is asking what you're doing. Uh, what? Oh, I'm doing a diamond dot painting. Play up the full screen for a second. It's, it's kind of like paint by numbers. Yep, but with, with little beads. Sorry, Troy. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> you're good. I was watching. There's a truck that was stopped outside my gate. Thank you, Jabba. Yeah. Oh, interesting.
Oh, that's all good. Good job. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. good. You're not really, you're not really interrupting yeah. when you're in chat. No. I just tend to interrupt because I got the TTS talking directly into my head, and so yeah, can't really shit kind of quickly at times. <laughs> I don't like radar off mash. As soon as the information comes in, pass it on. Yeah. Uh. Damn it, I'm gonna have to in the box. <laughs> I was forgetting something this morning. Well, the good thing is you get all day. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, it takes me forget two minutes to actually clean the bomb. It's a down seven in the bowls that take time. <laughs> uh, it's not lining up. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Coming up and have a rip into people. Have a toe? Yeah. Or just have a sip of. Uh, drink some coffee. coffee. Drink some juice. Some water. Come up and socialize. It's a lot easier than typing. Yes. I'll be 100% honest. Yeah, I, like I hate even. I, I like learning people's voices. Because mm -hmm. that's me. Uh, that's what I need. Right. I, uh. Yeah, what was it? Oh, in chat. When I'm in chat, believe it or not, I don't enjoy saying cheers to everybody because it's like, fuck, I got to type yeah. again. Fuck, I got to type yeah. again. It's, it's like, I'm yeah. here listening, like, but I don't want to not say hi to somebody, especially if they say hi to me. Right. Usually if you say hi to me, I'll, I'll always say hi back. But there's times I have my moments. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, the eight four zero. Here it comes. Buddy. Yo. Yeah, bro. What's up, Bam Pro? Nothing much. How's it going, peeps? How's it going, man? It's going good. Kids giving you a break so you can actually get a token. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to jinx it though. Knock on wood. As soon as you say something, something's gonna happen. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Knocking on one for you, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I know my desk is real oak. Kids got like this little secret radar that they can always tell when you're doing something that they, they're not supposed to be a part of. Oh, yeah. And they naturally want to be Every a part time. of it. <laughs> Every time. Oh, yeah, of course. They're like, well, you're doing the thing. I want to do the thing too. And it's like, well, well, no, well, no. Yes, me yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, man, how's work doing today? You guys all wet? We're locked down right now. Shut down. Oh really? Yeah. You said at work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've been shut down for almost two weeks. Really? Why? Uh, the pump, same pump that I shut down for about two weeks last time, but this time they're not giving me any answers on a solution, and it's just getting weird. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's they're not being responsive about shit, and it's like I, I they're not trying to 
post ads for me to get a new employee. They're not trying to tell me what when the pump is coming. They told me they have a pump. But it's like, I'm literally sitting here doing nothing. I, I've been cleaning mm. and fixing shit and all that. But now I, I'm literally, a, I could probably find something to do, like shovel something or something, but nothing that would be beneficial or productive. Yeah. Right. I might go play in the skid loader later, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, usually if if you're busy, you know, work will go by quick, but if you're sitting there just twiddling your thumbs, it kind of sucks. They go so slow. Yeah. I've been playing the shit out of Diablo Immortal on my phone. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. How is it? I haven't played it. It's just like Diablo. Just like it. 100%. Diablo that you, you remember, like Diablo 3 and that? It's just like it. it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. That's cool. And you don't have to pay to get all the stuff. Obviously, they have like battle pass and stuff like that. But, right. Yeah, but uh, that's all national shit, right? Yeah, it doesn't control your 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 game experience. You still, it's a great game. I, I I'd, I'd recommend to anybody that likes those kind of games. Oh yeah, I'll definitely look into it. Uh, you can also play it on your computer if you're too. If you're into Diablo, then there's also on Steam there's a game called Path of Exile. Again, very, very diablo Yeah. It's multiplayer. It's free to play. My favorite game like that... <coughs> my favorite game like that is... Uh, I think I told you this before. Gauntlet Legacy is my absolute favorite. Like, I remember that one. RPG. Like, dude, that was so much fucking Ooh, fun. That's like yeah, what, PS2, maybe? Is what? Was- yeah, PS... Oh, fuck. I, I think it might have even gone as far as PS1, but at least PS2. That's possible. I, I played that one, though. That was that was a pretty cool, uh, cool one. It was like you had different character classes, and you like yeah. dungeons and stuff. That was cool. Here's a throwback game for you that I, I really enjoyed that still to this day is one of my favorites. Legends of Dragoon. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. like six yeah. fucking discs. Yeah. That was, when that came out, that was a big deal. Most games were that was like disc, maybe two, but six. Job, that, that was, was another deal. great one. Zelda, yeah. <coughs> I didn't get in Zelda as much as everybody else did. I not not because I didn't like it, but it, it just wasn't something that I I, I had. You know, is Final Fantasy. I, I got a lot of. Is fucking uh, awesome. Oh, yeah. Final Fantasy in general is a fucking badass. When you need a strategy guide, a thick-ass fucking book to help you get through this game, I mean, <laughs> you know they put a lot of fucking detail in that shit. Oh, yeah. I never did. I always fucking figured it out. Off of everything in games. I always fucking mm. figured shit out. Mm-hmm. If you ever listen to Ben Hammer talk about the way me and him used to play games, we'd rent games for a month. And a week later, we'd be returning them and asking for a different game. We'd have that for a week, finish it, bring it back. Yeah. It was just a constant cycle. It was normally me that would yeah. friggin' kick the game's asses. I remember when you used to be able to rent game consoles. Mm-hmm. We used to be able to rent, like, the PlayStation and stuff. You'd be able to go there, Xbox, 64, and then you could rent some games and... <coughs> I remember that was how I played for a long time. Hell yeah. And then people got to be assholes and just didn't return the shit and move and stuff like that and give them big addresses yeah. and care with the shit. Yep. Yep. People ruin things for everybody. Oh, yeah. Yep. <coughs> yeah, so Do you remember the man parties? Uh, I know I can get laser disc. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh all kinds of audio books at the library. Oh yeah, dude. The, the library crazy. here has a library here has like a their own little Netflix kind of thing mm-hmm. um, for audio books and for movies. You can go on as long as you have a library card. You can just stream it. Put in your library card number and you can stream either the audio book or the movie. Oh yeah, before mm. before That's Netflix, my dad and I would just walk up to the library and rent a bunch of movies for like dirt cheap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that was the first time I saw Apocalypse Now. 
and it was like the fucking director's cut, and it was like almost four hours long. Oh like, god, that is a long fucking movie. I remember that yeah, one. Just the normal cut is long, and then the director's cut's fucking ridiculous. But it's a good movie. Very good movie. Yeah, lately I've been some jammed. libraries aren't that console. Fuck, I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I haven't been to a library in so long. Yeah, I haven't yeah, been. Once I get the, the new uh, tray for my bowl, okay. I'll try to get a good picture of that too. There you go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's my normal. In my morning. <laughs> yeah. You go once a like week. See, where we live, we have a, a library that looks like it's a fucking massive building. I've never been in it, but it is so weird shaped. It's got lots of angles and stuff like that. But it's the biggest library I've ever personally seen. The Seattle Public Library downtown is huge. Is yeah, so is ours. Huge. Yeah. And, and Troy, yeah. if I take a shamanic dose to this... I won't be able to do the closers for you at all. I, I was having troubles last night. It was kind of yeah. worrying. My hand was twitching. My fingers were twitching. It's like, son of a bitch, stop. <laughs> what is that? It's shroom mix. Microdose. Oh, okay. Yeah, microdose shrooms. Uh, I took two last night, and they were just, just kicking. At one point, Quinn looked at my eyes, and my both my eyes were dilated differently. <laughs> oh, that's one. Even doing shit. Even my even my blind eye was dilated, so that looked even weird. That's and it was mm. a weird. It, it was a different dilation than the right eye. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's weird. That's funny. You feel good though. You weren't like freaking out or anything. Oh no. All right, good. good. I've done shrooms before. Oh yeah, yeah mine decided amount of shrooms oh. before. <laughs> mine decided to kick in when we were on a walk. And uh, I got home, something as small as I went in the bathroom to go take a piss, and the shower curtain out of the side of my eye was doing a little wavy thing. I was like, oh, God, I must have taken a big old spoonful tonight. And I, I even looked, I looked over at it, I was like, wait, is it moving? Then I looked away, I was like, no, I'm still pissing, mind you. And then I see it moving, and I look over, and I'm like, it's not moving. I was making sure I was actually getting a little visual and not that it was actually yeah. moving. Yeah. So it's like, right. okay, why the fuck is a shower curtain moving? Files. <laughs> Cheers, 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 Blood Files. Cheers, Blood Files. How's it going, dude? Every time I do shrooms and I hop on like YouTube or something, I'm like, why the fuck do they change the format? Like everything's like too crisp and small. And I'm like, oh yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I took two last night and my color was a bit more brighter and that type of oh, thing. Yeah. yeah. Because, of course, my pupils are friggin' dilated, so I could actually fucking see a little bit more in the dark. Which is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. It wasn't enough to really make me trip, but it was enough just to, yeah, blur the edge. You probably got. You probably got about the dose that I feel. Because that's about how it sounds when I do it. It's like, you feel it. You definitely feel it. But <laughs> it's not enough that you can say, oh, yeah, stripping. You know? No, if, if you thought that odd time when you're getting a little bit more, uh, I think that's because you're doing the spoon, you're getting somewhere between like 500 and probably 750 in a single probably. spoon, depending on how. How you make it, and for the microdose, it's saying that 750 would be a, a shamanic. Here's some shit. Dose. Mm. Well, Tana, she, yeah, she takes a bigger scoop than I do. Oh yeah, she she's always gonna be going for the fucking. <laughs> she's she's going, going for the biggest trip. buzz. Yeah. yeah, she's going for the trip. She's learning with my mushrooms, though, that sometimes less is more. Like, I take that smaller scoop. Right. Sometimes it'll hit you harder than the double scoop because it, it, it's just the consistency of where it's at in the jar, the concentration of whatever it was in the scoop. Right. That, that ground up mushrooms, I think that is a great fucking. Oh. I love it. 
Mo, good morning, dude. I love showing morning, off Mo. the mushrooms. Like, I, I love the aesthetic part of the shrooms. Like, hey, I'm about to eat this little fucker, you know, blah, blah, blah. Check this out. I do like that. But mm -hmm. as far as for me personally, as far as the way to enjoy it, this spoonful of ground up is the best way to go, I think. Hmm. Like, for me, the, the cops make it so easy. Yeah, like, just take it. Yeah, you, you just pop it in and... I don't even have to worry about the taste. Yeah. Yeah, it's telling Bagel I need to I need to get some. Uh, I do. I need to just give it and do it. And as you see with mine, they, they are the big ones. The, the, the bigger you can get, the better off you are for your dosage. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to probably do double zeros. I think those are the 500s. Oh. It's either the double zeros or the triple zeros or the 500 milligram. Well, I'll try the double zeros, and if, if it doesn't work, then we'll go down to zeros. Uh, if you happen to see Lost Ark kicking around, just ask him. He okay. knows capsulated, and he knows all the size caps. Sizes and shit. He knows his shit, yeah. <laughs> see, for me, it's, it's a matter of if I went somewhere to buy them and I could see them, I'd know. But I'm probably going to get them off of Amazon. So I don't. Yeah. That's where we got him. Yeah, it's like I just need to figure out the size. All right. Oh, you got drugstores around there and that type of thing. So you should be able to get some down there. No problem. Uh, like I you were imagine. saying, uh, that market. Oh, yeah. 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 We have apothecaries it's and shit like that down at the... At yeah, we got like an apothecary and spice store stuff like that. They might have them. There's a place that I can go to get um, mushroom capsules, but they're the other kind of mushrooms. Your lion's mane, reishi, chaga, this, all that stuff. Turkey tail, stuff like that. We can get those. We have an apothecary that sells uh, certain mixes for certain things. That's how I, this all started. I originally started with those. I'm glad Pops is still in yeah, glad. yeah, yeah. I'm glad. Are those little be last pieces? <laughs> Mo, does does pops get a nurse that comes to take care of him? If not, you should check into getting him a nurse, like a little hot nurse that'll give him baths and stuff like that. Because if I was in your hey. pops' estate, that that he's got people make my day. He's definitely got people coming yeah. in to do that shit. Yeah, if I if I would have had the time with my dad to do stuff like that, I would have gotten him a, a real good looking nurse. I would have probably even uh, I don't know, got him a little housekeeper that runs around in skimpy outfits. <laughs> Guys are perverts. That's what we think about even up to the day we die. It's still on our brain. <laughs> All humans, that's all we're really made for is to be here to procreate and die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all this, all this shit that we've fucking taught ourselves fucking work, money, all that shit that's all fucking bullshit. Yeah, it's just filler. <laughs> well, so is uh, reproducing, <laughs> it's just a filler. I can confirm as a former CNA. Seven baths a week, all hands on. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh man. Oh. oh. Fuck. Now what to do today? I'm gonna go clean this up. Cause it tastes like crap. <laughs> Prison, every friggin' missile. Ew. Well, every lungful I take, uh, I can eat. Uh, all of that taste on my lips is rising. That's okay. It takes minutes, a minute or two to friggin' wash you. Find all my tools. Here. So, Troy, what do you need for the intro? Um. 
basically video clips that would be something representative of what your channel is. Like if you have something you do or say or, you know, okay. like Neil, I took him showing his bongs, his thumbs ups, his peace sign, his yeah. blowing the clouds, stuff like that. Those are all things indicative of, of Neil. So right. I just okay. took all that and then then if yeah, you yeah, pick out a song a or I pick out a song. Okay. Yeah. Neil gave me a three minute video doing all the things. Uh, yeah, I did all the things and then some, I think, for you. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you just clip yeah. it from YouTube? Yeah, just No, you'd have to um mm, the way Neil did it was StreamYard. Um probably oh, email it to me. It? Okay, yeah. yeah. You can probably email it to me and that, that yeah, works. It has to be StreamYard. And I I'm not sure, but I think you can give anybody a link to the YouTube library. Or your StreamYard library. I'm not hundred hmm. percent sure about that. Hmm. I'll check into it. I'll check yeah. into it. Otherwise just just make sure it's landscape side to side, you know. That's to that way. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can make full screen, but yeah. Right. Sweet. Okay, I'll do that. I like playing with this app that I use, so it, it makes it easier and easier. Yeah. Morning, William. How's it going, dude? Hey, William. Mr. Neil. Mr. Neil. Well, I'm probably going to do one more dab, then I'm going to keep you guys on in the background and start playing my game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I anticipate getting eight hours of gameplay today. <laughs> well, think of it this way, Troy. Yesterday, you got paid really good for making my intros. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the thing. Yours actually only took me about 25 minutes. Is oh, it wow. Not e yeah, not even 30 minutes. Yeah, I, it might have been a little bit less. I, I basically knew what I wanted way. already. Yeah, you're yeah. at work. You're getting paid damn good for friggin' making intros, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like multitasking. Right? Last night, I kept feeling something on my hand that kept catching on something, and I can't find it today. Oh, shit. It's like a piece of skin hanging off. I was like rubbing Bagel's arm or something like that, and I felt the skin snagging on it. And I, I went to go wipe it, and I couldn't find it. And I thought about it this morning, like, what the fuck was that on my hand? Mm. It's super scratchy. Oh, stupid. But that's what I'm thinking about. Hmm. Nothing wrong with that. I'm editing Hang with Steel. Uh, Jeb, Jeb, I'm going to play uh, Diablo Immortals. I want to get one of those controllers that you can put your phone in. You know, it's mm -hmm. like a, a cell phone wraparound that turns your phone into a controller. I want to get one of those. That would be cool for a game. Yeah. All right, this thing will taste better. I gotta figure out um, where uh, what I'm gonna do for the prize for 420. Mm. That's coming up, like not this weekend, but yeah. next weekend. Next weekend, yeah. Dude, I'm glad it's on a weekend because fuck, dude, I'd hate to have to, you know, leave work early and go to sesh and then go do live and then have mm. to come to work the next day. It's like, yeah. I'm glad it's not that. I love it. I love it too. I think it looks really cool. No, I'm having an issue huh? with this. Um, oh, I thought you said I love this little torch. Oh, but I Sorry. did until about five minutes ago. Uh, uh -oh. I filled it up, 
and now it won't stop leaking out of the area I filled it up from. Oh. Oh, wait. No, it's still going. It's probably pressure relief. Probably. <laughs> I would guess. <laughs> I would guess. <laughs> oh, shit. Hang on, sir. You're a guy, sir. Yep. Cheers, Carolyn. Cheers, Carolyn. Good morning, Kerwin. Fine, don't say hi to me then, Kerwin. I understand. <laughs> I understand. I see where I stand right now. I do. <laughs> One big moist hand busted seal on the, the little torch. That's why it's leaking. Mm. Busted seal. <laughs> Or could be possible. I'll be right back. No okay. problem. Oh, man. All I got to do is think of an outro. Figure out uh, something else for an outro. <laughs> um, I'll look for another song. When I have this song, it's always easier to to figure out the, the music part. Ooh, I just felt it again. There it is. I got a fucking scab on my hand. What? Did you hurt yourself? <laughs> well, apparently I, I had a cut on my hand I didn't know about. I was trying to feel all over my hand to figure out where that piece was that I, I felt snagged on something last night. I have pretty smooth hands. They're callous as fuck, but they're smooth. And yeah. so I, I like... Bagel has the softest skin I've ever run across anybody. She has like silky skin. So if I touch her arm and I feel it scratching on her, I'm like, it makes me feel some kind of way because I'm not feeling that smooth. Yeah. I get you. You pick up what I'm throwing down. The person that uses his hands a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> Textures, man. You notice, Textures. You notice them. <laughs> Yep. It's okay, Kerwin. I was only giving you shit, dude. That was 100%. I'm not that pressed about it. I was like, what the fuck? Didn't say hi to me? Fine. But not like I felt like, yeah, yeah, offended or anything. Just more like I'm going to give you shit for it. So Cindy is now on full... PK Blast. What's PK? For the next week. PK, it literally just gives juice to the buds. Ah. That's what I understand. It's just bud juice. So it's to help the, the, the buds grow. Okay. So it's like a flowering nutrient. Yep. Hey, Timothy. Good morning, dude. Good morning, Tim. Tim. Morning to Miss Valencia as well. Tell her I said, easy does it. <laughs> Valencia's line is, you know, everybody's got their line. Valencia's is, yeah. easy does it. She said that we've known them about five years now. Wow. They were our first people that we ever met from the page. Uh, we, we delivered their prize to them that they won in person. We, we flew out to Michigan and and oh, wow. uh, went to Detroit and went and hung out with them and smoked with them and gave them a bunch of stuff. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we've, the, we've, the first intro you sent me here in a second after you finish what you're saying. Oh, um, hmm. I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, I was talking about going to meet them. I think that's yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're good. Well, this is. Here, here's the first intro that uh, Troy made yesterday. Stone to the bone Stone to the 
I love, I love that. it so much. I, yeah, 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 I'm even kind of like both of them, both of them are awesome. Great. Yeah, I love them. I love them. Yeah, when we found that song, Beg Bagel and I found that song when we were, uh, I think it was right before we went to Michigan. And her and I had it in our head, stuck in our head the whole time we were in Michigan. We were driving in the <laughs> car so many times. It would be like, stone to the bone. So many times. I was like, I need to get that fucking intro done for Neil. And then he, mm -hmm. I, he told me that the clip was about to expire in the stream yard that he, he recorded. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get to it. Yesterday, I had the time. I already knew what I wanted to do, so it worked out good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gave you plenty yeah. of uh, that video. Gave you plenty to rip apart and friggin' put where you wanted. Yep. Oh yeah, I could have, I, I could have alternated pictures, directions, and all that. Fucking a whole minute. I, I tried to keep it as short as I could. I didn't want it longer than a minute. Right. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. All I do is I use an app called Filmora. You got to rip the song yeah. from YouTube, have your yeah. pictures and videos, and it gives you everything else you need. It's it's made like almost dummy proof. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Hey, sometimes it takes a lot of time if you add a lot of effects and stuff like that, but I don't do a lot mm -hmm. of that anymore. Right. I'll see if I can find another song today. Yep, the more I go. Yep. I, use, I have the, the paid version of it, so it, it works. It does. It's fucking... Yeah. It works. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people use Filmora. Yeah, the this shit, this shit's good. I don't even remember mm -hmm. who recommended it to me, but somebody on here recommended it to me. I was using uh, it Vlog. It might have been. Uh, journals. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, I was using Vlog. Vlog's another good one. Hey, mm. it, it really it works really good. It's got some great fucking transitions and effects. But I like film more better because you get all the same shit and a couple more things for for cheaper than what the other one was for the paid version. I always get the paid version of something I use a lot. Yeah, I mean, you may as well get the full fucking thing. If it's two, three bucks a month, okay, two, three bucks a month. I, I can do that. Yeah. That's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. I can forget I about that one. one. And be a the other one uh, a lot of people use is CapCut. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. CapCut's another one. I use CapCut for a little bit, but they, they have so many templates and stuff like that. I know you can, like, make your own shit, too, but I... Uh, I used CapCut for a while, and I started throwing out an ass load of shorts. I just started, it's like, okay, you need three videos for this. So I go through my videos, doo -doo -doo -doo, put it in there, like, hey. But they were never quality. I always liked the ones I made better than the ones they made. Right. But it could also be my ego, I don't know. Mine's better. Now, the only difference, the, the difference with CapCut is it pushes out to a different audience as well on top of... It going out to your YouTube. They also have their own freaking database type thing. And you actually make subscribers using it. Hmm. Wow. Uh, YD Boys uses it. A few other people were using it and gaining fucking subscribers, hands over fist. Using hmm. what? CapCut. Cap oh. I like what William said. Lurking, perking, not jerking or twerking. Actually, China dishwash. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I like it. <laughs> All right. You're washing some China? Oh, uh, yeah. China dishwash. What? Yeah. China dishwash. I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to mean, but maybe China dishwasher. I don't know. Hmm. He's washing the fine, the fine china, the fine dishes, maybe. It's uh, the CapCut editor or something like that. The, the free, it's a free version. <coughs> Stone to the bone. 
<laughs> I think William might be behind a little bit. Yeah. He'll catch up to us in about a minute. Maybe two. <laughs> oh, you're going to type it in there. Okay. Yeah. That song is so catchy. Just that 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 line right there. Like that is literally the very beginning of the song. I didn't have to go search for a certain part or nothing like that. That's the way the song starts off. And I was like, fuck, that's great. I looked to see how far in the stone to the bone part was. And it's like forty seconds in. I was like, I'm using that right there. Yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. So I'm also lagging a few minutes. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, he caught it. Yay. Good shit, William. Welcome Yay. to real time. Present, William. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the present. Yes. Well, mm. I think I'm going to go play my game for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking about jumping in the skid. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until the, if any kind of sun is gonna come out, comes out before I get in the skid load, right? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I've been wanting to friggin' uh, hot box a skid loader. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be the, the the loader, the payloader, the big oh, one. The payloader, not the skid loader. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I could. I get a joint ready. Maybe I can uh, do a video of me hot boxing and get it all nice and smoky in there. And just be recording and take a bunch of clips of it just getting cloudy or smokier and smokier. Yeah. there and play your game for a bit in the cloud. There you go. The only thing is, I have it parked right by the road right now, so uh, I don't give a shit if anybody saw. I guess it'd be neat to be a person recording when I open the door. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. I wonder if I could set my camera up like over this way and aim it at the loader so you can see the cab see me mm-hmm. climb up in it get up in there i can smoke i'll sit in there you know five seven minutes something like that smoke it up and then when i come out open the door i could get all of that from a distance just aiming at it and zooming in Mhm. yeah i could that would look sick right, i gotta I think I, it's not bad. i gotta take care of a couple things all right Take what, you got kids or something? You got kids or something? I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Love see you, you bro. Have a good day, dude. Take care, Gamper. All right. I'm really out of here, though. Uh, you you'll right. still be in my ear, obviously, but. Yeah. All okay. right. Have a good day, Take you guys. And there's a, yeah, there's a realistic chance I'll be back. All right. I still got a few bowls to go. <laughs> <laughs> and we've only been going for 54 minutes. Yeah. I'm going to change my angle of my camera. I don't want a diamond dot right now. <laughs> and I hope you're all doing good out there this morning. Oh, yeah. Music. Duh. <laughs> Get some more metal going. Oh, that sucks, Jabba. That's yep. why I smoke copious amounts of weed. Mm-hmm. Look at these knuckles. Did I freeze? Oh, my computer's gonna These die. Things are all okay. fucked up. I'll be right. Yep, no problem. Using a lighter can be a total bitch. Hey, morning, Michael. Now, one of the things that I was given that I really like is this. It's the cactus cutter. 
remove CW out of there. But it's a cactus cutter. It's a it's a nice friggin' grinder. Works really well. And having the fucking bad hands, man, this thing has been a lifesaver when you friggin' run it. Oh. It automatically goes, uh, does this. Instead of friggin' just going one side or one speed type thing. I'll hear you back there. Give me a minute. Just putting stuff down. Hello. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, one of the things I am looking at is what they call an easy light or a touch lighter. Mm -hmm. It's made for arthritis. Yes. It's a little bit bigger and just has a button on the side that you just need to fucking put your thumb on instead of fucking flicking. Yeah. There are some days. I am pretty sure you've noticed it. I go to flick the lighter and my hand just doesn't want to work. I just mm -hmm. kind of put my hand down, get the lighter out of it, try to flatten my hand out as best as I can on the table. And then I try again. Very nice, William. <coughs> I know my citrus pie is coming around pretty good. <coughs> you don't expect this in a fucking metal. Yeah. Saxophone! Yeah, I love it. I really do. Yes, yes, Troy, yes. <laughs> that fucking saxophone is just sick coming in there. Look with the new people that are in chat. That's Swazi Gold. That's, uh, I take it it's a Sativa hybrid or Indica hybrid. Definitely sounds interesting. There's how the citrus pie is doing. The people just coming in. I 
This is the citrus pie. Auto flower. Yeah. But she's a beast. Mm -hmm. Auto flower. Very, very wide. Lots of buds. I can't even guess how much it's going to have in weight, but besides a little bit of damage I gave her, and she's still repairing from the top stem will be the first thing to come off in another mm -hmm. week. And the carrots. And the potatoes down the back. But yeah, if I would have known what I was doing even more, I think this plant would have even been bigger, taller, and wider. Right. That's an auto flower. Every person I, well, there's a lot of people I heard, heard say, oh yeah, autoflowers ju are just tiny. Well, not this one. Look tiny. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't. Look at those. I don't know how well I'm focusing on, bud. To the left. Oh, left. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Perfect. Look at that bud. Look at them. They're all over. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a top view. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very healthy and big, right? Well, like all right down through the middle of it. Uh, yeah. It's everywhere. Try to open it up real nice and wide. Mm hmm. All right, Jubba. That's Jubba a blind gorgeous. man growing. Yeah, blind man growing. And then the very lab all, That's all I've been using. Growing in Coco Coir using furry lab mutes. <laughs> Haven't looked at the trichomes yet, Tim. Uh, we're going to be doing that. Possibly. Well, probably today. Hmm. Or listen to the plant. Mm -hmm. Again, it is an auto flower. I did have some accidents with it, and because of those mm -hmm. accidents, it actually slowed it down a little bit. Like slowed down yeah. what it should have been doing while it was repairing. Right. Yes, I have an electronic microscope mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Not, yeah. Hey. It works, it works. Uh, so it's, it's right there. Oh, this is upright. Oh, upside down. There we go. Okay, yeah. Cool. Oh, your camera's still up there. Oops. Huh. 
It's, it's just looking for the camera. <laughs> Of a wireless digital microscope. Nice. I just don't have my Wi Fi card hooked up yet on my computer, or I'd be using that. Instead, right. uh, use, it's connected to my kid's phone and take pictures and shit that way. Mm -hmm. And they send me this stuff. That's the other thing I need to do today is get my Wi-Fi card, Wi-Fi connected. Well, I heard a boop. Here's Michael. Hey, Michael. How's it going, guys? Not too bad. Good. I'm smokeless, doing, but I hey? wanted to come up and say hi. Oh, oh, hi. Not a problem. You don't need to smoke to come up here, right, Neil? Yeah, exactly. It's a I'm social place. I'm doing pretty place. good. It's a social hey. place, yeah. <sighs> I've been up since 4 in the morning. Me too. 3.30. Oh, 3.30. Again. That was about the time I saw I, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. I hope you're doing good other than that. Yeah. Just doctor's appointments. Oh, fun. Oh, Those are fun. <laughs> yeah. Hope everybody in chat's doing good too. Yeah, speaking of that, don't forget the thumbs up. Troy did a really good job with those intros for me. Yeah, he did. I can't wait for mine. I I need to get uh, that, recording that on the that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really was. I hope the doctor's appointments go well for you, Michael. Oh, hope they usually do. They just... I got a pinched nerve in my shoulder. Oh. Uh -huh. Ah. That's never fun either. No. Nope. Worst part about it is I'm dry until Saturday. Uh. I hear you, though. I'm dry till the next week. It's only two days. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. Oh, I've been out for a week. Oh Ugh. shit. That's that's painful. But I had my daughter. That was cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, we need to make compromises, right? Yeah. When they're younger, oh. we definitely need to make our compromise. When it comes to family, it's more oh, yeah. important. Mm hmm. So, what are you smoking on today, Neil? Bubba Kush and grape cake. Nice. That. What are you? Uh, smoking? I'm not. I'm not smoking right now. Oh. I I'm very low, so I like portion my my smoke time to the evening when like basement's live and Troy's live. That's when I smoke. Ah. Uh, yeah. I can't. No. I gotta be so high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm either out or I'm stuck. I know it helps. Yeah. Yeah. 
I know the smoking helps Dot sleep at night, so smoking yeah. in the evening is a better time for her to smoke. Yeah, it helps me sleep. Yeah, I prefer sativa anyways. I don't mind. I like both, so. But when I do have pot, for me, it needs I to be. Do... A, I don't like pure sativa, so those things freaking get my brain going too fast. I'll be back. And she throws up. Yep. And remove her. Yeah, for, for me, sativa gets my brain going too fast. My brain's always going super fast as it is. When I first get up in the morning, I'm scatterbrained. Uh, uh, there's like five things I want to do at once, but uh, I get lost because I'm trying to do five things at once. Yeah. Smoke a couple of bowls. I slow it down. I calm down. It's like, okay. Do this. Do this. Then this. Then this. Not trying to do everything at once. Yeah. <laughs> And I wake up when in a lot of pain, so the pot definitely helps. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it, William. That's why I do this. Slow my, slow my brain down. Now the only time I smoke anything is when I'm online. I normally have uh, my sesh bowl set up. I do those. Then uh, I'm done until the next stream. Normally it's Troy and Bagels later on, or I'll pop up on somebody else's during the day. Have a couple more bowls. Cheers, Harden. How you doing today, Sam? For me, it 100% uh, depends on my pain levels. There's some mornings you'll notice I'll only be reaching with my left hand because my right arm, there's no way I can pick the shit up. It hurts. It hurts too much. Hell yeah. I have fused discs and herniated discs all up and down my spine. I was, in a, I was hit by a car when I was a kid. It fucked my back up. They didn't notice it so much at the start. They figured I'd just be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. Well, I proved them wrong. <laughs> but because of it, I'm in permanent pain. But at least I'm upright. I don't think I'd be able to handle being stuck in a chair all the time. I need to be able to get up and move around. They told me at 15 I'd be blind by the time I was 20. I'm going on 53. I still got a pinprick. <laughs> did a lot of shit between the ages of 20 and 53 that needed sight. Yeah, not so much anymore. I can grow a plant, but anything outside of my apartment, that shit's hard. I've been living in this yeah, place for more than a year. Beautiful. Thank you. 
think you're going to get a really nice yield out of it. I guess I'm expecting anywhere between, I'd say, two and four ounces of dry one and sun. Yeah, I would say a quarter pound at least. Be nice. It would be nice to get a full four ounces out of that. That would be beautiful. Cheers, Bell. Yeah. Uh, if I hadn't have damaged it, I would have known more of what I was doing with that plant. I probably could have gotten it even bigger. Yeah, I think which so. Is kind of, which is kind of scary to say because it's an auto flower. <laughs> you got a good one. For sure. Holy fuck. It's definitely a nice plant. I thought your carrots would be doing better by now. They like to spread. Uh, what do you mean by the tops? Yeah, more carrots. Uh, you only get one carrot out of each seed. And I only planted three seeds. Oh. Uh, My dad just must have planted a lot of carrots when I was younger. Most people, to what I understand, they, they spread out a whole friggin' container of them. Like, put out 20 30 seeds i didn't know how it would go in the cocoa so i just planted three ah uh they are getting friggin tall as hell on the top they are getting there make uh, bugs money's mouth water the biggest <laughs> one has got to be almost 12 inch tall 10 to 12 inch tall damn And I had to use a pipe cleaner to keep all the stems of each separate carrot together because they were all getting tangled up in each other. Uh, Morning, John. John. I am using the same thing on everything in there. I'm using the Ferdy Lab Nits. So I have no clue how anything's going to turn in. I am. I have no clue what nutrients I should be using. The only nutrient plan I have is actually for cannabis. You might have to have a nap. Welcome back, CW. Thanks. <laughs> My computer keeps crashing on me today. Uh -huh. Huh? I don't know. It, well, it keeps restarting. Oh, your computer keeps crashing. Yeah. Why, Jojo? But it's like everybody can oh. No, me. Oh, okay. Hey, Adrian. Or, Adrian. Arden. Hi, Belle. Good morning. And even with this camera, you can see the carrots over there to the left. Yep. They're getting tall yeah. as shit. Yeah, they yeah. are. Do you do? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I guess you can see the potatoes, I think, down there, kind of behind mm. the pot. Not very good. It's hard to get a good angle for everything now. Yeah, because it, she's growing so much. She just don't want anybody. Yeah, sorry, I, Arden. She, she just don't want anybody hey. to see the potatoes at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's like, no, nope, I'm taking up with a shove. Hey, Captain Kush. Cheers, Cap Kush. 
Oh yeah, everything in that tent is being grown with Furry Lab Newts. Thank you, Mom. In Cocoa Bar with 25, 23 to 25% uh, hey, Perlite. Sure, Sean. Anybody in the back. All right, I'm gonna step down. I got some stuff I gotta do. All right. Thanks for coming. You up, guys Michael. have a wonderful day. Thanks for having me. You too. Of course. You can come up anytime, man. Then with the regiments, I'm putting uh, the nutrients that cannabis is going on over the next week, or for this next week, it apparently is going to help the buds get a lot bigger. Oh. So they could gain a little bit of mass, which would be awesome. Yeah, which would be awesome, yeah. Not worried about having giant friggin' giant buds. Uh, just like a bunch of golf ball size buds. <laughs> yeah. Come on, computer. No problem, Anthony. And I'll be back in a moment as well. Okay, no problem. Water and hot chocolate take <laughs> care. Okay, Jabba. Cool. How you doing, Captain? I'm still here, guys. I just turned my camera off. Chaos. Chaos. Welcome back. Water. 
Yep. Actually, I'm gonna take a hit out of you, okay? Nice. I believe the last thing I had in here was the uh, super bud. Oh, okay. Yep. It's a kick to the gray matter. <laughs> Canada, we don't got much of a choice of places that are nice to live. Retirement. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Cold in the, cold in the winter, hot in the summer, just about anywhere. Yeah, yep. Pretty much. No, for if, if we get the Turk and Caicos Islands, mm. look moving. <laughs> 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 we got a lot of snowbirds up here. That's how if I get one of the uh, oh. one of the bugs came into town because of the snowbirds. Oh, really? That wasn't any fun. No, it. Yeah, it went through the town. Friggin' random people. Friggin' got pretty sick. Yeah. Almost time to friggin' refill that, uh, clean that cartridge and refill it. And get all those things cleaned. My all my friggin' uh, yo can coils. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, this retirement community up here. Mm -hmm. We got people from literally all over the world that come to this really? town to retire. Really? Hmm. Yeah, you can drop that link. Yeah, you can drop that link. No problem, Bell. 
I believe that's for anybody down there in the US. Cool. No problem, though. Like, technically, I should start dropping my referral link for Ganja West all the time, but I don't. <laughs> yeah. But most of the people that I know of are already using Ganja West, so my referral link does no good to them. <laughs> no. Well, other people can go check it out, too. A lot of people are passing away from cancer. Yeah, yeah, they are. Fuck cancer. Fuck cancer. Yes. Just, yes. Just, just, just. Fuck it. Cancer, just, just fuck cancer. Yep. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was uh, Stephen Amell that started uh, literally that. Fuck cancer. Right. Mm hmm. William, I'll send you a link. If you haven't ordered from them, I'll send you a link so that way if you order shit. Uh, I'll get a little kickback. <laughs> yeah. You get good quality stuff and you get new from little kickback. <laughs> Come on, guys, let me log in. What chaos? What? He passed away yesterday from cancer. Who? OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson died of cancer? Let me look at it. Let me copy a damn link. There it is. Yeah, he died yesterday. OJ Simpson died. Shay. Huh? OJ Simpson died. That's crazy. Yeah, cancer apparently. And Canadians. You can hit that link. <laughs>
But glove hey, didn't fit. Them. Thank you, Marshall. Marshall. If you're going to order for Canada, if you're going to order from them, make sure you sign up first. You can get a 20% discount. Plus, you get three, 3.5 free grams with your order. Uh, yeah. It's an awesome site. Catch you later, Mo. Oh, my God. Take your mom. I'm going to kill my computer. It's Don't rebooting again. It's already dying. <laughs> uh, I'll be. I heard a boop. Hey, it's an ant dabs. Cheers, Anthony. Cheers, guys. Uh, so, so right now, um, I had to move back into my mother's house yesterday. Um, oh, yeah, my other half wanted me out, so. So I didn't want to argue, fight with us. So, but the only hardest thing that I had to do yesterday was tell her eleven-year-old daughter that mommy wants me out. And when I told her that, she sat there and said, like, "No, no, it's not true. Mommy doesn't want you out." I'm like, "Kiddo, she does. She wants me out." So, and she started crying all day yesterday. I was. I was up and down yesterday, so I'm like, what the hell? Well, best to her and the best to me, I guess. In a way. I mean... Oh, man, sorry. Sorry to hear that, man. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. I know uh, a lot of people have been reaching out to me for that. Uh, a couple days or so. So, well, between yesterday and today, lucky enough, I had a co-worker of mine um, help me bring all my shit up to my mom's house yesterday. So, and I had to go back down there this morning to pick up one more box. So, I grabbed all my fish and shit first, and then, then all my other shit. I know you're trying. I know it's just about the end of the live sesh. Trying to get one up now, real quick. I got a couple. I think I got one more bowl after this one left. All right. I still have actually. Pack. Gone through almost all bowls. And today it's been uh, under two hours. <laughs> give me, give me two, two seconds. I'll be right back up, going in and yep. out. Cheers, Cali Bear. Definitely getting there. Oh, everybody's coming back at once. Yeah, sorry, it was kind of echoing a little bit. So, yeah. Uh, Welcome back. Thanks. Both he is. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm so tired of this happening. Hey, Callie. I ended up picking up some angry dog dabs and what's the other two? I would have to look in my bag real quick. I think I got the other two like right next to me in my bag. Troy asked how you were doing, Anthony. Um, I'm good, Troy. Sorry, I I can't really look at the comments and all that, but yeah, I'm I'm holding up. I'm good, hanging in there. Got to do a little fat glob. Chaos. Izzy's in here. Okay. Hey. 
Chef. Why do I still got a little bit of... <laughs> Time to wake up my neighbors. <laughs> hey, that's right. Come on. <laughs> Troy says he's seen your update post and you can message him when you want. Okay, I got you. you. <laughs> so I got Battle F NF one. Mm -hmm. Then I got Emma. I don't know some some weird little name on this, but oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, open up the wrong side in that one. All right, come on. This one's more of like a waxy. Oh, that's this is the angry dog one. A little. Mm hmm. That's okay. It. And this is that weird. Oh, okay. Stuff. <coughs> 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 And uh, where my mom lives, and um, I used to live in uh, in Cranston. My mom lives about 20, 25 minutes away from Cranston, so she lives in this little town called Exeter, and they actually have a little dispensary right off the road. And I'm like, nice. oh, look at that! I was like, no way! I was like, eh! I like now I look at the prices. I'm like, yeah, you guys still want too much. <coughs> Just for like a gram of live rosin, I think they want like sixty-three dollars and like fifty cents for it. Jesus. I'm like, no, I'm all set with that. <coughs> then, uh, I can see now this how is, they're getting those prices. Though. I can, I, I can understand where they're getting their prices because for yeah. a gram of rosin, they're probably <coughs> squeezing anywhere from eight to ten grams of wheat. Yeah. And so they're charging you for the weed price almost. For yeah. Gram. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Oh, it's nuts. I'm like, I told um, one, of my, one of my old cold workers told me about the places out in like Mass, like the place I, uh, I usually go to. Where you are. Yeah. Um, where, uh, where I go to get my. Uh, off out the other store up in mass um i go up there hit the vip list and you sometimes do that vip list i can get like a gram of dad's for like 20 bucks which right yeah, i'll take it like i don't think i have a guy and all this other shit so Cheers, everyone. Nope. I think I lost this. Nope. I did. Uh, I don't know why my iPhone would do that. Stupid phone. Oh, we lost him. Something, something that might help your cam or your connection. Uh huh. <laughs> Actually, turn your camera down a little bit. Uh, yeah, in the I, I think I will. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go standard. Okay. 
That just might make your computer last a little bit longer. Right. <coughs> Just a possibility. Right. Because uh, one of my computers that I did have, the, the old one that I had before, the one I'm using now, mm -hmm. when I was streaming, it would literally do the same thing. It would start freezing up and just crash. Uh -uh. It would just crash without any warning. It didn't give me any oh, notification, yeah. no blue screen. It would just yeah. shut off and turn on again. It's like, right. what the fuck? Sometimes I'd notice it start glitching. It's like, oh, fuck, it's about to, and sure enough. Yep. Yep. Anybody thinks it's um, uh, the power? It could be the power supply, it could be, uh, depending on the age of the computer, it could also be your friggin' motherboard battery. It's not even a year old. Okay, well, then it won't be the battery. Uh, could be cat hair in the friggin' fans. Yeah, I'm... Make it overheat. When it, yeah, I think I'm gonna take it apart, clean it. Now the thing is, is you won't be able to get into the power supply. Does the power is your power supply noisy when it's no. on? So then that shouldn't be a problem. It sounds like it just overheats on you and yeah. shuts off. Yeah. So it could very well be just hair and crap in the cool in uh, over the motherboard. Right. Yeah, I'm going to clean them. That's just my personal thoughts. And Arden right. says pretty much the same in the chats. Uh, yeah, I did yeah. I did a lot of computer fucking building and shit like that over the years. Before my mm -hmm. eyes really went bad, uh, I used to build all my own computers. Yeah, I'm going to clean it. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like it is overheating. Yes, it is a tower. Okay, so yeah, it'll be easy for you to get in there. You know, you know yeah. what you're doing to clean it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hey, like you got five cats. You should be cleaning that fucker at least once a month. Yeah, I really should. Getting in there and blowing that shit out, and yeah, yeah. When was the last time you did it? Um, three months ago. <laughs> I have progressively one... getting worse Two... since the last. No, time actually, it, it's been getting. I've been not getting kicked out or booted or whatever for like days now. And today is just one of the worst days, I guess. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, I have fans. There's like six of them in there. <laughs> one of the tricks I used to do with mine. Oh, I always keep mine up on my desk. I also have, if they got really, if it, got really bad at overheating take the side of it off and have a fan blowing right in there yeah yeah that's not so much that's not so good to do with a bunch of cats yeah no they'd be like what is that and you're just blowing all that hair and all that hair right in there yeah. mm-hmm I know from when I had cats yeah there's constantly hair floating around in the air yeah. Open up one of my computers and well, I had an orange tabby and all my uh -huh. fans looked orange. Oh shit. <laughs> there are the HEPA filters. Yeah, that's going to be hard. HEPA. There are filtered sides you can get for computers. Right. And basically, you take off your old side, you put this thing on, and it's a vent, but it has, like, a filter. 
right. it lets a lot more air into the computer. Right. I need to get one of them aerosol, whatever you want to call them, for the air pressure thingy. Clean it out. Get a micro air compressor. Yeah. You can get uh, little ones that actually, I think it's a USB one. You hmm. plug into your computer. And... No, that's cool. And you can also get the USB vacuums. Yeah. Or, vacuums. Or, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, Anthony? I probably do. I probably do. I don't let my cats near my tower, but... I'm going to clean it today. Oh, you're sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Kelly of cancer, apparently. Ah, uh, he's um, the second big friggin celebrity. I don't know. All. Yeah. Same age yep. as the other guy was. Uh, the, the country singer. Um. Uh, um Keith yeah, Urban? that guy. No. Yeah, Keith Urban. Whatever his name was. <laughs> he's something yeah he passed away from cancer as well a few of them passed away from cancer okay a cancer heart attack uh, let's look it up and that's who it was toby keith sure tim toby. morning plants are awake On, let me bring you up the full screen there. I got all those plants. Very, very nice, Timothy. Very nice mm -hmm. indeed. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's a sea of green. It's a sea of green, everyone. Home yeah. Depot is not advertised on this set. Ah. I got my three lights, and they're just baking. Very nice. Thanks. Yeah, he died of cancer. To what I understand, Tim's place gets pretty full of uh, plants. Until he gets to the chance to move him outside, he does a wonderful job of actually growing him outside and controlling the light with garbage bags. Oh my god. Sorry, it's doing it again. I so badly want a headbang, but at the same time, I know my neck is old. It don't like headbanging no more. It, it hurts a lot. <laughs> uh, I still got the long hair hidden back here. Just a fucking good drum beat. Yeah, that's about all I can do. Uh, head nod. 
It's still not too bad, Tim. Once you weed out the males, you'll be all good. I'm, I'm kind of getting excited for when I have to actually harvest this girl. To find out how much I actually get off of it. It's definitely going to be interesting. I'm no Metallica. So I definitely can't hate bang no more like they could. <laughs> That'd be cool. If I would have really fucking known what I was doing better, I think I could have done a lot bigger. Again, it's just an auto flower. Like, holy shit. <laughs> there we go. I'm oh, using my phone. Again. I'm using my phone now. So. Get him on that computer <laughs> break. <laughs> My God. <sighs> Thank you, Arden. Oh yeah, I only tried I only tried planting one cannabis seed and it popped for me with not much of a problem. Yep. The potato, well that went with no problem. And three carrot seeds and all they popped. Yep. Here's everyone. So I must be doing something right. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I listened to the plants. Six to eight supersized buds. Well, Tim, I still have about a week to go. Uh, she's just going into PK Blast. Uh, I don't know exactly what that means, except that it's going to help the buds grow even more. It takes... It, it, it stops giving juice to the rest of the plant or something, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's supposed to help it. <laughs> so I guess I'll find out over the next week. The light I'm using is a Botany 320 watt. Yeah. And apparently, with some research, it's supposed to be a really good light. Yeah. I don't know. Use your eyes and you'll just use your hands. It's easier. Well, 
Thank you, Juba Job. Thank you, Juba. And everybody has a wrench. That means you can just tap on each other's names and go to channel and check each other out. Make some new friends. I think I need to fill up a couple more bowls. Okay. I love the Ganja West rolling trays. Well, I love the rolling trays. Metal trays with a magnetic top. Yeah, I need to look for something like that. My trays like... 20 bucks, Ganja West. Ganja West? 20 bucks, Ganja West. Nice. Okay. Done. <laughs> and they, they, they got multiple different types. Right. They got like Rick and Morty. They got uh, like the one I have, Einstein. They got a few other designs. Yeah, my plants didn't get so much colas, I guess, because of the way it grew. It stretched too much, and instead of getting a cola, well, I got a branch full of friggin' branch full of buds. Yeah. yeah. Well, not super buds, but not super condensed. That's what I ended up having to bend over. Mm -hmm. Would have been yeah. cola if uh, if the light would have been close enough, right? But the plant kept on wanting to stretch, so I kept on moving the light and kept on stretching. <laughs> oh, well, because it was a citrus pie, uh, auto flower. I didn't want to top it, right? I didn't know when to top it. Right. Or how to top. Well, I know how to top plants. I just didn't know when to top it. Topping it makes it produce more branches. That type of shit a lot quicker. Well, Juba Jub, if this blind guy can grow, anybody can grow. That's basically it, Tim. Yeah. Uh, I listen to videos. I've been trying to find out how to freaking make better buds for autoflowers and shit. Listening to different videos for that. Fucking. That's fucking a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah growing vegetables. That was totally my own thing. I wanted to see what I could do. What I could grow. Right. Potatoes. That is another learning curve. Yeah. Ooh, no. I didn't do it right at the start. My next time, I'm going to document it a lot better. I'm going to try to do it the proper way. Right. Yep. Tim, you're right. Practice, practice, practice. Well, what I learned from this first batch of potatoes so far is number one don't start with one one whole potato in a bag that small never heard of them callie yeah is he no 
let the shoots go up, not down when you're putting it into the friggin' ground. Uh, I should have the best way that I could have done it in the grow pie. Right. You start with around four to five mm -hmm. inches of cocoa at the bottom. Then I plant my single eye, a uh, single potato eye. And as it grows up, keep filling in the bag. Mm hmm. And by the time it gets to the very top mm -hmm, of the pot, that bucket, it, it's, yeah, it's going to be full of potatoes. Right. By the time your plant finally dies off like it's supposed to, that bucket is going to be full of potatoes. Cool. That was from a single plant. I had at 1.9 plants growing in there. Uh, two of them got strangled off. Oh, shit. By the other plants. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Literally is in there. It's a battle. Yeah. I'm not sure yet, Tim. Uh right now they're already get the, the tops are already getting tangled together. Right over there. Look at that. I have three carrots in that pot. Uh, I've heard that you can put two weed pots, to, weed plants in one pot, but you need to have a big enough pot. I only have a three gallon for the, the pot plant. That's not big enough for two plants. A 10 gallon, you could easily fit two pot plants into. Right. The carrots are in a three gallon. The carrots, yeah, they're only in a three gallon and it's, it's a tall pot, not a wide pot. Uh, so I'm waiting to find out what the carrots look like once I harvest them. Then I'll be able to figure out how many more carrots I might be able to fit into that type of pot. Right. Uh, I really compacted the cocoa into that bag as well. So I'm not sure if the carrots are going to be super long and skinny or if they're going to try to fatten out or what they're doing in there. Something I need to wait to see. Right. I will not know until harvest time. Carrots take roughly 90 to 120 days. Cheers, Car Car. Cheers, Car Car. How you doing? Yeah, good morning. Happy Thursday to you, too. And right, right, we'll yes. play the intro for everybody one more time. Yes. Like, let's... Like... Uh, pause music. And Ooh, too far down. This is the intro. Oh, this is the second intro Troy made for me. Here we go. <laughs>
Yep, yeah. I still love it. That fucking rocks. Yep. I'm glad you're doing well, Car Car. Gaming before work ski? Awesome. What are you gaming? <laughs> you rock, Troy. You rock, Troy, absolutely. And he games, and he works, and he does all that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she getting stoned to the bone too. <laughs> work. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you meant like gaming. Yep. Absolutely. The main game is called life. Yep. Yeah, I'm here every friggin' weekday morning. Yep. 9.30 my time. If you're grounded by the balls, you got a good chance of getting kicked. Car car. Car car. You and 840 need to friggin' talk. Mm hmm. 840 found himself some terps. They're friggin' super terps. And he needs to find a way to fucking cut them down. The stuff that they're friggin' offer them costs an arm and a leg. I imagine you know cheaper. But yeah, you, you and 840 need to talk somehow. YouTube's acting up again, Callie Bear. I know 840 was in here earlier, but I yeah, don't know he where was. He is yeah. Probably over in Bong Holios. If Bong Holios live. What are you guys talking about in chat? <laughs> I have no clue what they're talking about in there, totally. <laughs> wow, car. Oh, he got, uh, car, he got jars. Yeah. Ounce is. Okay. Hey, you two need to talk. Izzy. Izzy. <laughs> Come here, baby girl. Hey, 
he, he was warned to not open the jar Is in he? the house. Yeah. And he, he 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 just opened it up quickly and took a quick sniff, and the whole he? he said his whole house smelt like it for like two hours. <laughs> Whatever flavor it happened to be that he had opened, but yeah, uh, yeah, you you and eight forty definitely need to talk. Apparently, those would be some amazing flavor to put into fucking gummies and shit like that because it's so concentrated. And hopefully I'm going to be able to check my PayPal later. And hopefully the money is going to be transferred over. And I might have a chance of getting a bong I want. 9mm glass, 24 inch porous silicate beaker bong. Single per basic with a nice catch. Unfortunately. It'd be... Six inches taller than this one. But a beaker bomb. And I imagine it'd be quite a bit heavier than this because this is only seven millimeter glass. And it's not a beaker. I like the beaker bongs better. So that ten times fast. Well, I had to give my cat some food and water. That happens. Yeah, gotta feed them. Fuckers. Darn things. They're so needy. <laughs> yes. They're so needy. Oh Damn my thing. god. <laughs> Always wanting something. Yep. And at the weirdest times. Yeah, now the kitties are good. Izzy's in Shay's room now that she wanted to be in, so. She's like, I'm gonna go hide in here and chill and mm -hmm. fuck everybody else. <laughs> yep, pretty much. And I did make a playlist of my citrus pie. All the shorts are in one playlist, so you can just kind of swipe up through it. Mm -hmm. Kind of semi-watch the plant grow, which is kind of neat. Would have been yeah. nicer if we could have had it a little more... Huh? Twist video. What what twist video? I think somebody talk, talked about it up higher. Oh, there's a video that we are talking about. 
from chat on YouTube. It's funny. Mm, okay. Never heard of it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Now the uh, earlier when we were talking about the stuff in the chat, it was um we were talking about this guy. He went to an MMA fight, and uh, I don't know what this guy was on or anything, but he like got some guy was videotaping him, and the guy was like right behind this guy taping the guy, and he's like grab him by the dick and twist it. Now he like just did like that this like hand movement like uh from like Yu Gi Oh whatever and he's like just grab his dick and just like twist it. I was like, yo, that's nuts. And like during the kid recording it, he's like, dude, this is an MMA. He's like, bro, dude, and, like this is an MMA fight. He's like, calm down, like I was like, yo, like this is wild and I'm like, I don't know what he was on, but he must have been on some good shit that night. There's also another some video of people, that I see. Some of those people that go to MMA, wrestling, man, uh, those fights, they think anything is fucking legal. It's like, no, you're still not allowed to do yeah, something. Yeah, I'm like, I mean, it's kind of nuts. I was like, yo, like, calm down. Like, there's no need for that. Like, but I, I, I just made it to, like, Facebook over the past, ever since it happened. So, I, like, I've seen it, like, a couple times recently. So, that's what we were kind of talking about in the group chat. But um, there was this other video. There was this guy. I don't know where he, this guy was, but <laughs> these people videotaping him. He's like, yeah. He said some like stupid like set, like gay stuff, and I was like, he's like, you know, yeah, this guy asked like if he can like grab my dick or like whatever, and he's like, he'll give me a hot pretzel, and next thing you know, he's sitting there eating a the pretzel, and he's like, yeah, it happened right over there. I'm like, yo, like what the hell? I'm like. I'm like, what's this world coming to? <laughs> like, I'm like, it's just like kind of like nuts. It's a weird, weird world we're in. Yes. Yeah. I was like, well, the well, the MMA video is actually the kind of like the funniest one, in my opinion. I was like. I think I think the kid during the video was like, yo, this is like a family thing. Like, this is like an MMA fight. This is like a family thing. Like, calm down. We had it all. We had it all. Between black and white, through ups and downs. Oh. Nope. They didn't want to do that. Fuck. I got my two sisters kayaks. On the wall. Now I got my sister's two motorcycles right here in the garage. Just all hanging out in the garage. At my mom's house. I would have loved to have a kayak when I was younger. Yeah, Since I, I've been in this town, I, I would have loved to have one. Yeah, this is no, um. No, I wouldn't be any good with one by myself. Hmm. <laughs> I remember me and my two brothers got rest one of their souls, but um, we were at my uh, grandmother's house one day, and we had a pond, just probably walking distance, probably like not even like three minutes if that. And uh, so we all took the kayaks out, and uh, and there was a lot of boats on the pond that day too. So when the when those boats went by, if you don't hit those waves right and head hit, hit them on like head on it. Like, it's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> me and my uh, buddy I grew up with, me and him took his uh, canoe um, in salt water, like, and um, not in the ocean, but in the bay that we have over here. 
Narragans at Bay, we call it, and uh, and we we almost lost it. Like, but we we counted ourselves, and we almost because there was a couple of boats that were out like a mile, two mile, out, and we're like, oh yeah, the waves ain't gonna be that big when they get get over here. First wave, we almost, the first like two waves, we almost like capsized. We almost went over, but where we were. <clears throat> At behind the jetty, it wasn't too deep, so it was about it would take maybe like 12 15 feet deep, but it wasn't that much. Like, but still, shit happened. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go real quick, and then I'm gonna pop right back up to do a rip and all that. Um, just the volume's kind of funky on this. I don't know why. Okay, doke. not a problem. Right. I'll be right back up. It could be me too. <laughs> I'm always moving the microphone away from my face, and then I forget to move it back towards my face. And sometimes my microphone is very touchy. Right. I'll pick up all kinds of things one day and hardly pick up anything the next day. What month is October? Like 11th or no? Uh, the tenth month. Ten? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Sorry, no. Yeah, that was actually my. That was on me. My volume was kind of low. That's why I was like, it took me a second to realize it. Ah, eh, not a problem. I was like, as soon as I, I like left the chat, and I was like, oh, I could. And I heard you in the back. I was like, oh shit. I'm like, I didn't mean that. I was like, oh god. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, uh, picked up a little bit of flower yesterday. That's, uh, There's I forgot what that flower. was. Nope. But, uh, this one's more green on than the other ones. But, uh, Oh no! Well, I got so much to my grinder right now. It's like not, 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 not a lot, but still a little bit that I can pack, put on a bull pack or a bong pack or whatever. Doing a little spritz. I was thinking about taking a ride up to the little dispensary up the road from my mom's house. I, was, I got the, I got one car in the driveway out of four. My mom, my mom has two cars in her name. My stepfather's driving one now. I'm driving the Mustang that's in his name. Right. My sister. Uh, how, my sister how, how far up the road? About like a mile. About like two minutes, if that. Walk. Walk. I. Yeah, well, hey, that's not well, that far I'm, of a walk, man. Well, well, out, out here, out here, and uh, Ryland, where like where this dispensary is, to my mom's house, it, it would take like, oh, uh, it's a pretty decent walk. It's only a mile. Like, it's only a mile. Yeah, that is true. That is true. That is true. Like a mile's a mile, dude. Like, yeah, exercise. Yeah, you pick up you you pick up some joints on your walk home. Yeah, that, that, that is make the, walk, make the walk so much nicer. Yeah, that is. I know. Now, now since you yeah.
Enjoy the outside when you can. Not enough people yeah, do that these days. I got it. Like, you, you like going fishing. Well, there's more nature out there than just fish. <laughs> yeah. I'm just giving you a shit. You know that, right? <laughs> no, yeah, I know. I know you're if you want to drive, go ahead and drive, man. It's only a two-minute no. drive. Yeah, and, and plus the weather right now. And, and the, yeah, and the, and the weather right now is kind of uh, shitty out. So it's like cloudy. It, it's on and off rain right now. So it's just like, yeah, that's that would be a little true. If it, if it was sunny out, oh, I'll do it all day. My every friend Marshan. Day. My friend Marshan. She has guys. Got on his bike in winter and drove to the dispensary. Rode to the sp dispensary. Friggin' 26 kilometers. Uh, oh. That'd be like 12 miles, 14 miles. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever the conversion is, but yeah. He, he drove and then back. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> well, I was with my um, first girl. <coughs> I was able to her. Oh, uh, my stepfather gave me the mountain bike. Now we actually got hanging up in the garage. And, oh, uh, shit. You got a mountain bike there, man. There you go. Ten minute trip. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, so there's one winter. No, I lived away from the market. I, I was working on maybe, maybe like a mile and a half, two miles. In the winter time, it was about I don't know, maybe like three, four inches, probably like three inches of snow on the ground. Like I was like pedaling to work that day in the snow, and uh, and I was having fun on the mountain bike in the snow. I was like coming around the corner, and thank God I left at the time I left because um, this Chinese guy that kind of felt bad, and um, he went off the road and up on the sidewalk and almost hit a telephone pole in the snow, and the cop was and the cop was over there, so I was trying to give him. A, so on my way to work, I stop. I try to give him a little quick hand and stuff. Just try to. <coughs> that car was not budging. <coughs> the car was not budging whatsoever. We, me and the cop and the guy were just me and the cop were just, alone were just slipping in the snow. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I don't think there's nothing that we else that we can try to do. I'm like, besides, if you got a shovel in your car, we can try to shovel around the car and. Try to get the grip, the grip, the traction on tires, but I'm like, I highly doubt that. Yeah. I'm like, gonna need a tow truck. I'm like, just how he's angled up on the sidewalk, you know, almost. Lucky enough, he was about maybe like, he's lucky. He was about two feet away from hitting the telephone pole. I'm like, he, I was like, I looked at the cop, and me and the cop kind of like agreed. I'm like, yeah, he's he's lucky he didn't really like crack into the telephone pole, like, and all that. So I'm like, huh. I was like, I tried to help him out, try to do a good deed for the day, which I tried, man, and all that. So, which I was like, oh, yeah, thanks. I'm like, yeah, no problem. Anytime, like, you know, boys in blue, I always try to help them out. Like, got to. No, oh, I just try to, if a person's stuck, I just try mm -hmm. to help them out. It doesn't even need to be anybody yeah. special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was, um, there was this one time I was with another ex of mine. We were coming back from a job late night. And this guy got stuck on the side of the highway. It was like on my birthday. And it was like, I don't know, 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning. And he got stuck right near the hospitals. And uh, the hospital, the main hospitals in, uh, in my state. And uh, I guess AAA or whatever, whoever he called, couldn't find him. So and his body was dead. And so I was like, I'll give you a. So I noticed, I was like, oh, he's a wall veteran. I was like, no, I'm like, I'll loop around and get off the highway, back on. If he's still there, I'll pop up behind him. I'll grab him. Get, I get out. He's still there. I get out. I go up on the on the top of the hood. I tap on the hood a little bit. He kind of jumps up a little bit. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, relax, buddy. I'm like, I'm like, I just, no, I was like, that's why I had to tap on your hood. So, you know, I'm like, I'm not going to like, I was like, oh, how are you doing? And he's like, oh, yeah, my battery died. These people don't know where I am. Like, these people are retarded. I'm like, 
yeah, like, especially this area, they, you know, how the bridges are. He was, like, on the main highway, and the bridges were all, like, above him. So they thought he was on the main bridge. I'm like, I'm like, no, he's on the... So I kind of chalk him around on the highway, and they can give him a quick jump and left. That's and, uh, pretty normal for his audio. Yeah, my, my audio is kind of funky. Everyone's hey, my phone goes a little bit robotic and shit. <laughs> Yeah, it just happens. So, uh, so, I, so um, I realized he was a boy, and so I was like, so I was like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to go out, and I thought, like, thanks for starting this country, this, that, and the other. So I was like, I was like, I just got out of work, my birthday. So I, I was like, I couldn't see, I couldn't see somebody getting stranded on the side of the road near the holiday season. Like, I was like, no, I can't. I'm like, my birthday's five days before Christmas. So I'm like. I I I, like, I couldn't see somebody get standing on the side of the road on the holiday season. Like, they got family to go home to, like you know, like my uncle told me he appreciated me. Me and him actually hugged real quick. I was like, "You have a good night, sir." He's like, "You too." I'm like, "Sure, Ricky." I'll be like, so I was like, "Help him out." I was like, "That was." <laughs> and then it came out. Then, it, then, it, then, good combo actually worked out. There was one day I was um, I go to one day. The thing I messed up on, and uh, I'm walking back to. No, it's my ex girlfriend. Um, I was back to her and her daughter, and um, I'm walking up on the sidewalk, and all these cars were parked on the side of the road. And next, you know, I just seen like a. Like a twenty dollar bill or something floating in the air. I go over and I step on it. Next, you know, it was a, instead of my first time finding a hundred dollar bill floating in the air. I was like, no way. I was like, I found like a ten dollar bill, or two dot, like two dollars on the ground, a couple dollars on the ground, but never, never like a hundred. And it was in like the capital city too. So it's like if anybody else would have found that, that would have been going real quick. I was like, oh, that's my pretty much my good karma after all these years. There's my mom. No neighborhood home attack. Thanks, thanks. Got a house. Next door neighbor's there. Got another neighbor that way. But um, right across the street. Behind me, um, go by that house into the woods. Um, we got the Kitchens uh, Memorial um, for the military. We got their um, cemetery, like written up, probably like a couple hundred yards away from my mom's house. But it's a big, big cemetery. Big cemetery. And, like, I can walk if I was inside the tent cemetery. I can walk from the cemetery to my mom's house and. I don't know. A couple of minutes, all I gotta do is just walk through the woods. Well, then again, I just don't wanna. Oh. It's a nice cemetery. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I always find cemeteries pretty dead. But I'm pumped. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when, um, we You're definitely military... not running any parties at a, at a cemetery. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, sometimes in like when one of the soldiers pass and all that, and they have the the services over here at the cemetery, you can actually hear the gun, uh, the twelve gun salute. If if I'm right, go off. So you can actually hear them with the guns off in the distance, like yeah, it's only a twenty-one gun salute. Uh, yeah, seven guns three times. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, I think it's like the three or four. I I don't think I do it. I know I think they do it like three times, two or three times or something like that. Like I can hear like hear it, like I can hear them like do it. They do it like three times, I believe, the first time. Then they wait a couple minutes and they do it like another like three more times and all that. So and I can come off in the distance. We got a lot of wildlife. Cut into the backyards and stuff. Turkeys, gears, foxes, coyotes. Mm. 
when uh, when the weather's nice, I usually take a walk up where the entrance is, where the main road is. Um, there's like a little turtle pond back there, right over there. And uh, the other day, I had to take a turtle out of the main out, out of the road to put it back in the pond. I'm like, um, I don't know which way to go. I know I don't want to fuck up your routine, but I'm gonna put you over here. I'm gonna get you out of the road. I don't want you getting smushed. I felt so bad for the turtle. Take care, CW. Hope your computer sure. has a chance to cool off and stuff. I just realized today is 7 Ted. No, no, not 710. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for coming up, CW, and hanging out. Much appreciated, as always. And please remember to hit that thumbs up, everybody. Yeah. Ah, thank God. I'm just about there. I'll be right back up in two seconds. Not sure how many bulls have smoked, but I know I've smoked a few. Cheers. Almost hard. Almost. <laughs> Almost at that right space to get doing shit. <laughs> Including how to clean this today. I normally clean both my bongs at least once a day. Because if not, after around 12 bowls or so. I start tasting yucky. I like tasting my weed. Not the, the burnt shit. I like my bowls. This is the equivalent to a cart. I put this stillet in it. Oh, come back. Thank you. Sorry about that. My phone is working up for a moment. I use the stillet in my cart, so I can all, or I use the stillet in the O can. I can also put shatter in here or diamonds. I, I love the thing; hey, it's great. I just need to change the, clean the coils on a regular basis. Altogether, I have six coils, and yeah, uh, most of them are dirty and soaking in alcohol. Getting them all nice and clean, or trying to. The shrooms last night. Oh, I'm gonna have some tomorrow night. 
I, 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 I think it helped me last night. I. What was that? Oh no, I'm sorry. I was trying to cut you off, Neil. But uh, I had taken two of the capsules last night. They weren't too bad. Uh, it's literally for, for sleep and relaxation. It has, I can't remember the exact measurements, but it has psilocybin. Uh, shit. Psilocybin, passion flower, and can't remember the name of the stuff that helps you fall asleep. Melatonin. Yeah, melatonin. They're pretty big capsules, too. I've taken two of them. It, it definitely... Yeah, guys? Okay. It, it definitely helped my eyes. I hit me in the eyes. There's the size of it. Catch you guys later on this afternoon. I hope you guys have a good day. <coughs> Take care, Anthony. <coughs> <coughs> Talk to you guys later. You guys have a good day. You and Neil have a fantastic day. It was, I believe, forty dollars. Forty dollars for this. Uh, twenty doses. Thanks for coming up, Anthony. You're still out there listening. Thanks for coming up. Much appreciated, dude. <laughs> Much appreciated, dude. Yeah, it was about 40 bucks for these. Uh, taking one, I have a high tolerance to just about everything. So one didn't quite do it for me. So I ended up taking two last night. Uh, my kids said they could definitely see it in my eyes. Colors were quite a bit. Uh, more vibrant. I wouldn't want to take three. Uh, I, I think that would, I think that would make me a little bit trippy. And that's not what I want. I just want the relaxation. Uh, last night, I'd say I was ready for sleep. Well, I laid down at midnight and a half. Tossed and turned. Did my normal thing. When I did sleep, uh, I, I think I slept okay. I don't remember much between like 2.33 o'clock and 6. So I was a little bit different. Oh, I did get cold a couple times. <laughs> Had to grab my bigger blanket. Oh, definitely feel lifted now. The bong Zuka does it every time. The little one's nice, but the bong Zuka really has a nice hit to it. That's why I want to try a bigger one, because I got big lungs. Take care, Arden. Have a good afternoon.
It's not like I need to use my eyes anyway. I feel much better. I think I'm going to call this a stream. So I want to thank everybody for hanging out. Hope you are at least half as lifted as I am. <laughs> Stealing that one from Tana. Props to, uh, props to Tana. One star and three cats. Yeah. I'm definitely high. Take care, everybody. Stay hydrated. Stay high. Keep smiling. And I will catch you on the next one.